state-of-the-art technology, innovative business strategies behind the scenes, insights from cutting-edge users around the globe on 21st century business. Welcome to 21st Century Health. I'm Jackie Bales. Breast cancer awareness is at an all-time high. We all know that the first line of defense against breast cancer is regular self-exams and mammography. But while mammography remains the primary method of early cancer detection, diagnostic challenges can occur due to a number of factors, including the complexity of the breast tissue. Bob Musa, President and Chief Executive Officer of Dillon Technologies, is here to discuss their solution. Welcome, Bob. Thank you very much, Jackie. Thank you for this great introduction. Um, as you pointed out, breast cancer is really a battle that um, we in our communities on a daily basis have to fight. And what Dillon Technologies is providing is really an additional armament in the arsenal against breast cancer. Let's look a little bit at the statistics. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, one in eight women in the United States is going to develop breast cancer in her lifetime. Uh, even more so, more importantly, um, every 13 minutes, uh, a woman in the United States dies from breast cancer. Wow. Every 20 minutes, a woman in Europe dies from breast cancer, and every nine minutes, a woman in Asia dies in, from breast cancer. What exactly is Dillon Technologies? And we are marketing a, a very exciting new technology. We call it breast-specific gamma imaging. Mm -hmm. And what it is, it's really, it's an adjunct. As you, as you correctly pointed out, um, self-exam and mammography or mammograms are very, very important. Mm -hmm. And they will remain the first line of defense. And we really would encourage all of your viewers to continue very much to, to have those exams. But it is only the first line of defense. Hmm. So we, we need to look at the fact that somewhere between 15 to 20 percent of mammograms are inconclusive. Um, really? What does that mean? It means that once you look at the results, um, the medical professional is really not sure as to whether he or she can see a, a, a tumor, potentially a lesion, um, could be calcification, and they resort to a second screening, a second adjunct tool for screening um, that particular patient. Mm -hmm. So that, that's one group of people, th those that have inconclusive mammograms. Um, typically though, our technology is aimed at what we would call high-risk profile patients. And now who would fall in that category? Typically this will be women with a family history of breast cancer, mm -hmm. um, women with dense breast or large breast, uh, women that have had any kind of reconstructive surgery, whether it's cosmetic or medical purposes. Uh, because again, when you're talking about mammograms, you're talking about x-rays that cannot necessarily penetrate dense tissues, or right. cannot necessarily penetrate um, implants. This is fascinating. For more, let's go to this 21st century health field report. Today, among the most exciting advances within the diagnostic imaging field is molecular breast imaging, and for good reason. The technology is helping physicians and patients see what matters most in diagnosing breast cancer. Breast-specific gamma imaging is a molecular imaging of the breast. It looks specifically at the breast and the tail of the breast. It's meant to pick up areas of abnormal activity that may represent uh, cancer formation. It's helpful in scenarios where we've identified cancer to help us determine extent of disease or maybe additional sites of cancer in that breast. Doctors, patients and insurance payers enjoy the benefit of BSGI and MRI being used interchangeably in the diagnostic workup of the patient as the two imaging tests have comparable sensitivity for detecting cancers and many studies show that BSGI has greater specificity which means that it is more effective in differentiating benign from malignant tissue and BSGI costs significantly less than MRI, up to 70% less. All this translates into more cost-effective medicine. One of the main areas that we use this for is in the daily workup of patients. The area where we find the most difficulty with mammography is women with dense breasts. That's where we miss at least 10% of breast cancers. Luckily, this new test does not depend at all on breast density. So we can use this new modality for looking at these women, especially if we see anything moderately suspicious or slightly suspicious on their mammogram. For 21st Century Health, I'm Laurie Ann McGregor reporting.
really great news about a really, really significant development. Thank you so much for sharing this with us, Bob. My pleasure, Jackie. Thank you. And thank you for watching. Until next time, for 21st Century Health, I'm Jackie Bale.